In this video, we are going to study a lot of interesting points. Right opening move order and why Karpov avoid the strongest move, why he intentionally played the second best move. Topics like prophylaxis, right exchange, why backward moves are very difficult to find, giving up open file intentionally. Another important theme like do not hurry, exploiting small advantage, and uh, a great uh, Sicilian Nazdov type, amazing maneuver. You will learn about how to exploit outpost and uh, power of opposite color bishop, various lot of things. And you should give, generally you should not give bishop for knight, but uh, white doesn't have any other choice because black has uh, some serious plan. So you have to give bishop pair intentionally. A lot of things you are going to learn. So let's get started. This is very standard Keras attack position. Here G4 is the main line. Karpov is playing against Spassky in 1974 candidates. 1972, Spassky lost against Fisher. So there is some sort of fear is there in Karpov's mind against Spassky's opening preparation. Because when someone plays World Championship match and Spassky had a lot of seconds, Probably because Karpu was afraid of Spassky's preparation. That's why he didn't play G4. Because later Karpu won many great games in G4 line. You can study. You will really improve a lot if you study G4 games. Karpu, he won great games. But this game, he chose little safe. He played energetic chess. But he didn't want to test Spassky's opening preparation by playing G4. So, this position, pause the video and find a good move for black. Here, Spassky played dubious move A5. For many time, for very long time, A5 was considered to be good. But actually, it's not that good. He should have played A6. The idea is to play b5. If you play a4, and here it's a very strange move. This is all analyzed with the modern engine and e5. This is the move. Those days, this idea was not that. It's not that common to play such move. I mean, if the bishop is on e6, knight is on d7, then you do this stuff. But this is not a very common idea. It's working here only in this moment. The more standard option was knight a5, which is not good because of e5. If you play knight e8, takes, takes, and knight e4 is the strong move. If you play queen c7, then a5, and this is, if you take bishop b6, if you play queen c6, there is bishop f3. If you go back, I just simply take, and uh, black pieces are very much stuck. I mean, I will play something like this. Black pieces will be in some serious trouble. So here he played a5. Arpo played correct move. a4, knight b4, bishop f3. Again, the direction in which uh, Spassky played, that was not that good. He should have played again e5. Here, bishop e6 is the correct move order. You should not place your bishop on c6. And here I analyzed some sample variations. Here, white has a brilliant idea. He's playing rook c1. This is part of analysis. This was not played in any game. White's plan is very interesting. We are going to notice now. This, you have to save this bishop. Look at this maneuvering. Knight a3. And now he will play c3 to kick this knight. And white is completely winning. Okay. 
so this idea is really really beautiful one okay and because this is you have idea if we capture this night then there very some interesting lines i just analyzed we should pick two and white is having fantastic control over light square and is clearly better even if you set knight on d4 square white is clearly dominating next i will play this l b g3 h4 slowly i will push this side i have knight d5 white is clearly better but here he played bishop c6 knight d4 pause the video and find a good move from here here white played queen f1 there is a move there is a difference between queen e2 and queen f1 try to find what is the difference and the difference is when you play queen f1 later you have this idea with you if the situation allows you ah huh? this idea i mean it's not easy to play bishop e2 i mean you have to play rook c1 because knight into c2 is falling you should be to bishop c4 idea improving your piece position because this f3 bishop is doing nothing but if you keep the queen here that option will not even exist so if you can if you can have this option for you later you never know maybe this idea never came this idea never happened actually but you know you should always have this option you can keep always option for you it's very good this is a fantastic decision by karpo what is black's threat in this position whenever opponent makes any move you should always ask what is the idea behind his last move and a drawback obviously you should ask this question black wants to play knight g4 you know there was some analysis i did that was knight d7 he wants to exchange this bishop so then queen c4 knight b6 but uh, whatever you do I mean, this is better for white but a black should try to exchange this bishop with this bishop that will be very good trade for black but it never happened h3 he prevented knight g4 thing pause the video and find a good plan for white here the correct move is bishop g4 and he took the knight if you play moves like queen c4 then there is queen a6 because now black is forcing white to exchange this dark square bishop i mean if you take the knight into a6 bishop c5 will come and uh, black is more than fine i have double bishop advantage white has double bishop advantage but uh, how you will use that for your benefit because once i exchange this uh, dark square bishop one knight will sit on c5 another knight will sit on b4 rook d8 and white has dark square weakness white must play very precise otherwise it will be worse hmm So bishop g4 takes takes king c4 he played this then pause the video and try to find a good plan for white generally this move is little difficult for many students because it is a backward move in chess generally backward moves are little difficult to find and the idea is first we can say that this knight is badly placed not doing much hmm. and this knight is well placed because you know it's somewhat attacking and once you play c3 and if you manage this manage to disturb this knight suddenly black queen side will collapse and black doesn't know where to keep his pieces i mean here it it felt like 
for some time this knight is well placed but when you make such move idea is c3 suddenly his world will collapse that's like uh, probably shocking knight b1 move probably queen b7 h2 there is a principle so do not hurry here pause the video and find a good plan for white there is a theme that intentionally giving up open file in this position white played rook e2 white doesn't want to exchange the rook and later when you attack let's say after g3 rook f2 his rooks are not doing much compared to my rook my rook is uh, very strong on f5 black will be defending white will be having very very strong initiative and again back because now d7 square is weak pause the video and find a good move for white it's a tactics you should be good at small tactics and white is winning and black resigned here 